All right. In this video, I'm going to talk or show about Linux capabilities, which is nothing but a cloak over Mac. Mac stands for mandatory access control. So it is a good way of eliminating giving a non-privileged user uh, to the root privilege entirely instead it will allow the non-privileged user should have exact permission bit to what they are trying to achieve say for instance if they wanted to uh, read a particular socket in a privilege mode they need that particular access not the entire root privilege to do everything okay so basically it it will help the non-privileged user to restrict or confine themselves within that particular zone okay so it's a common scenario if 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 we wanted to achieve something more than our capability, we are supposed to have some sort of super user privilege, which is commonly assigned as a set UID bit. Okay, instead of doing that, we can use Linux capabilities to, to confine the non-privileged user to a specific task they are looking for instead of giving them the entire power. Okay, this is a very good ploy okay so i'm going to touch upon on this sub subject and i will show you the places where you should poke in look in understanding okay because i'm certainly not going to cover everything in detail okay so fasten your seat belt we are here for a ride okay so all the brief so without further ado let me get into my max and i have opened a terminal inside the max and the first thing i wanted to show you that uh, how capabilities has got different uh, set assigned to it at present it grows over number the, over the years number of things at you need to find out how many capabilities are activated by your kernel by doing this get broke sys kernel uh, plus cap I can't remember right okay cap plus cap this is the file you need to look and uh, you see it return 40 we have 40 capabilities set in the Linux kernel I will show you where you will look it in detail in just a moment okay but before that there are some user space stuff you are supposed to know about it okay so the first thing is that uh, there is a person called andrew morgan who wrote a wrapper around it called cap sh okay so the first thing you need to know find out what are the uh, capabilities assigned to this particular user okay where i mean as a normal user so because it's been in my not my in my path so i have to type it the full path name it would be different to you uh, cap sh that is the name of the binary okay and there is a flag attached with it if i write hyphen hyphen print and present as c these are the bounding set which the present user have and you can see the first line current doesn't have anything specific because it's a normal user and i haven't assigned anything specific to this particular user to access something privileged stuff okay uh, you are getting me right this is a cloak over mac this is a capability which allow you to find gain the permission to access the stuff you are not supposed to access that means it will confine in in you in a space without giving you the 
entire root privilege which we used to use give by set uid this is a more confined version and appropriate version of giving a user to do something specific related to the capability assigned to that user okay i'm clear enough i believe okay so this is now if you become a root and you do the same cap sh hyphen hyphen print you see there is a capability attached with it ep uh, that has different meaning that capability is attached with this user okay along with the other stuff okay so if i go out so i'm hoping you are following me okay so to every process we run we uh, which has got a capability attached different capabilities or different set of capabilities attached with it i'm running emacs right now i'm inside emacs okay so and it is running in daemon mode okay so if i find out the uh, daemon id of uh, emacs ep is nothing but a psc hyphen ef which i which i alias to ep for shorthand and uh, the 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 daemon mode has got a um id of six nine zero one okay and we are supposed to see so every process we run are uh, getting an entry in the proc file system which has a status flag attached to it okay so what we'll do we'll do uh, grep proc and we get the process id that is 6901 and if we do status okay sorry i'm i should be grabbing cap okay because we are trying to get the capability related entry out of the status file okay which get a enlisting on pro okay you can see i use the use the pid of the emax daemon and grabbing the status file attached with it to find out the capabilities related stuff which is what i'm grabbing capital c okay and if i press enter see there are five six capability stuff attached with there these are the shorthand notation cap inh man the capability inheritance uh cap prm means capability permitted okay cap eff means capability effect effective capabilities and cap pnd means capability bounded set and cap amb means capability ambient set these all the variable has got different meaning okay attached to it but but the value is showing on hex value right which is a very little use if you don't know how to decipher it fortunately as i said uh, a person named andrew morgan wrote a wrapper which is called cap sh okay so you can decode it because it's been is not in my path so i have to type the path again cap sh there is a flag attached with it decode okay and if you if you if you select this bounded set you see i'm trying to select it and if i do you see this many capabilities are bounded with this particular daemon okay to decipher the hexadecimal value attached with the capability flag you need to use this utility cap sh with a hyphen hyphen decode value and pass on the hexadecimal value to find out what is the underlying uh, capability set attached with this particular particular process okay so it's very easy to find it out all right so 
I'm wildly hoping you are following me. Now, now the thing is that you you can you can have a look. Uh, cap SH. If you do, see there is a there is a man page for it. Okay, so you can see capability shell wrapper and uh, there are different flags are there you can you can experiment with those to find out more about all the stuff i just show you one single flag which is a decode to find out the uh, decoding the hex value okay so so the and this is also help you to 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 restrict a particular functionality uh, to it has the cap sh has got a value of uh, like if you do drop and then assign the value okay like cap net something or anything specific variables i'll show you how you can where you can find those these capability variables uh, in the linux kernel source because it's important to know where you should look into it okay so you can if you assign to a specific process it will restrict it and act according to that so next time you access that particular functionality you will get a, the what you assign to that particular process okay so so i highly recommend you to look into the cap sh man page to get through it now the meaty part is where do you get to see all this stuff typical in a linux kernel source tree or if you have a distribution which is which is which is having a linux kernel source t you can look to control x control f uh, i'm just going to find out the file and it should have include linux see there is a two file one is in linux include linux capability dot sh if i press enter see this is the file okay this is the file you should look into where this stuff this is a header file for the capability okay that's why its name is capability dot sh it will basically call another file called capability dot c i'll show you in a moment okay but this is the header file you look into it the macro is how the macro is defined in it and how the structure is defined to it so if you if you give it a glance or spend some time you'll come to know how all this see uh, how all these uh, all these capabilities are defined properly okay so it is extremely useful if you spend a little bit of time it's not a big deal and it's not too much complicated believe me so you need to just see properly that what it is doing it's very simple simple in a sense it's not it is although it is a c header file but it is not so complicated so you can easily decipher it it basically defines macros and all this stuff okay now there is another file uh, if you can if you if control so if I go here in the Linux source tree and go to the Linux kernel and uh, okay kernel and then see there is a file called capability.c if I open this uh, file will call up that particular capability.h header file along with other header files 
okay and you can see very much how the things are implemented okay so i'm leaving you this two just to you need to see these two file to understand it how those these are implemented why i am suggesting because this is a matter of security if you do something related to the security on the system and if you do not understand the underlying implementation it might backfire you so it it will be good for you if you spend some time to look through this and you don't have to go through all the files you just have to go through this particular two file what i'm showing to you okay and these files are available in linux kernel source tree and if you go through it it will help you to understand how these capabilities are implemented one file is file under the linux kernel source is under kernel folder capability.c another the header file is in a standard location okay so under the linux source tree it will be under include linux and then capability dot h okay these two file i highly recommend you to spend some time to look through it before doing so doing or fiddle with the capability as i said we have almost 40 different capability sets in linux kernel which you can use as a cloak over mac so to to find gain the control of a particular process given to a, a unprivileged user who wants to access some privileged stuff in the system instead of giving him the end giving him or her the entire root privilege through set uid which is a common case you instead you should use the capability facility of linux to restrict that particular user to a particular section of uh, authenticity or capability okay this is a damn good thing if you if you use it properly so life will become much easier on linux and and the permission stuff will get much more confined and proper way okay so i'm leaving you with a hope that you at least to listen or follow what i shown to you i have touched the tip of wise bar okay so i left you with the three things look into this two file one header file one c file and the user land there is a wrapper you need to look into that uh, if I if I do uh, nope so so you need to look into that this wrapper cap sh to find out find out how what how and how you can manipulate the capability to a specific process you wanted to add something you want to drop something you want to do something else so you need to look into that this will come in handy and aid you to achieve more on linux okay so i hope it's enough what i have covered to 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 leave you with a with a with something specific three thing look into the linux kernel source for two specific file i'm repeating again capability.c and capability.h file and look into this cap sh uh, wrapper to to use those things properly okay so i am wildly hoping that you followed what i said what i shown to you and please do some research before using if you do it will only benefit you in a much more fine way okay so i hope it will be useful for some people thanks for watching